Skadoosh. Thanks for tuning in, my ninjas. Joey Moss here with Bad Boy Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Yorion. That's right. Um, a lot of you have been asking for me to build a Yorion build. Um, this is a very, very extremely annoying card. Period. Uh, companions, in my opinion, should probably be banned. They are just too overpowering. Um, and Yorion is uh, nonetheless, man. You, uh, your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size, which is 60. So we have to have 80 cards in our build. When Yorion enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. This has a lot of shenanigans. So anything that has entering the battlefield triggers, we're going to be running in this deck. So we're going to have the birth of Melitus because it's going to allow us to keep... Uh, searching up, you know, more lands, thinning our deck as well, getting more uh, more lands out there so we can cast more spells. Uh, uh, Omen of the Sea, so we can do the Scry, um, which is a huge, huge play, so we can get cards we need, especially when we're in a pinch. Omen of the Forge, because it could deal damage. I didn't go crazy and put two, three, or four copies of this in there. I just put one copy in there, and we actually do make use of it in, uh, in one of the matches. And, uh, yeah, it deals two damage, take something out, be up to four damage if played correctly. Uh, Omen of the Sun, and all these omens have flash on it, which is pretty cool. I didn't mention that either. Um, seldom do I use it for the flash, but uh, in, in certain uh, instances I will. When Omen of the Sun enters the battlefield, you create two 1-1 one, one white human uh, soldier creature tokens, and you gain two life. That can keep entering the battlefield like every turn. It can get really, really obnoxious, you know? So Omen of the Sun's in there, and the Scry too if you sacrifice it. Narset, Parter of Veils. We're also going to need Omen of the Sun so we can sacrifice for our Luka to dig up something. Uh, Narset is just amazing because it allows us to look at four cards, top four cards, and uh, find a non-creature spell, a non-land card, put that into our hand. And, uh, yeah, you really, like, in one instance, wow, this actually saved us. We won. Like, it was, like, better than my booster box opening luck, okay? It was insane top deck. Uh, Tefiri Time Raveler, we all know about Tefiri by now, unless you've been living under a rock. He's just, uh, he's amazing, that's why he's in the deck. Plus, he's, uh, he can just act as removal, act as, uh, or act temporary removal, I should say. And also give us card draw. Very, very beneficial. And also shut down, you know, control decks. Shadow the Sky. Got to be running copies of Shadow of the Sky in this build. We're, and uh, if I did not, I probably would have lost maybe half the games uh, that I played in, you know, more so. Uh, Shadow of the Sky is a great card. just destroys, all right? Thassa Deep Dwelling. Only one copy. And the cool thing is, with Luca, you can tutor up, and it's almost tutor up, um, your Thassa. You know, you sacrifice your 1-1 one, one creature or our 0-4 wall, and then we only have two creatures in the entire deck. We're either going to hit our Thassa with our Luca. Or we're going to hit our bazooka. Boopa, hoopa, troopa, loopa. No, okay, okay, anyway. Um, or we're going to hit our agent of treachery. That's why I'm only running two copies. You know, we really don't need two more, more than two copies if we have the Luca in there. Because um, we can just get what we need and then let the shenanigans begin from that point. Um, Thassa is going to allow us to bounce stuff. It's going to allow us to bounce our Yorion. It's going to allow us to bounce our agent of treachery. Um, that can get very, very ugly. And then that in return, with Yoran being bounced, could let us bounce our Kiora, which we'll get to in a second, uh, which could bounce everything else, you know? It just goes on and on. Fires of Invention, very strange occurrence. I played about eight games, okay? I won six of those games, and I'm going to tell you right now, I wish I could put all the games into this video. I, there might only be enough time for three or four matches, you know, the better ones. I wish... I could have had them all there so you could see. Seldom do I draw Fires of Invention. I think in one match I drew my Fires of Invention. Had I drawn my Fires of Invention in every single match, I would have won easily every single match I played in, okay? Narset of the Ancient Way, just because I wanted to give a good mix. We only got one copy in here, but she can do some damage, you know? Very powerful little Planeswalker. and only costs four to bring out. Very, very cool. Elspeth Conquers Death. I like this card because it goes great with the build, Yorion, you know? You can just keep on bouncing this crap. It gets really, really annoying. If you got something like Elspeth Conquer, uh, Conquer's Death on the Battlefield, your Thassa on the Battlefield, and you also have um, Yorion, you have the combination of those three. You're just continuously dropping this Elspeth Conquer's Death, and if they have powerful creatures, guess what? They don't have any creatures now, or they don't have any Planeswalker. It just exiles whatever the case may be. Luka, Copper Coat outcast the deck does revolve heavily around luca copper co outcast at least it makes it more fun we don't need him to win i've done it without him and won no problem but his minus two exile target creature you control then reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with higher converted mana cost 
Put the card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library. Random order. The great thing about that, with Luca, we go and get our Agent of Treachery by sacking our Omen of the Sun. It's really, really, really cool. Um, and then also, remember, it's either going to be Thassa or it's going to be Agent. Once we do, once we get our Agent on the battlefield, once we have Luca, it just the, the combinations of this stuff just gets ridiculous. Wait till you see this gameplay. Shark Typhoon, because uh, it surprises me how I win sometimes. Like, Shark Typhoon just blows me away. Like, wow, we have Lethal on the board already? You know, like after it's been on the field for like two turns, a very, very overpowering card is Shark Typhoon. Um, yeah, it's it's just disgusting, man. Uh, whenever you cast an uncreature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying where X is the spell is converted to mana cost. That's almost a busted card, you know, especially in the right shell and the right deck. This deck, it gets very busted, you know. Um, other decks that are similar to this, they are running more control-based where we are running more shenanigan-based, you know. <laughs> more, uh, you know, I, I think all of them are running, of course, the Agent of Treachery in there. But not all of them are running a Thassa, which is kind of surprising, you know. Um, and not all running the Fires of Invention, but we are in this one. Chandra, Age, uh, Awakened Inferno. Only one copy in the deck. I just think it's fun. One, it can't be countered. And two, it could board wipe things. Uh, and three, it could pinpoint certain uh, cre or a certain creature or planeswalker and destroy it. That's pretty legit. And also, um, we plus two. We get an emblem on the field. We put our opponent on a clock. Every turn, it's dealing one damage to them, and we can stack those. Pretty nuts. Agent of Treachery, he steals stuff. We already know that. Kiora, Best the Sea God, another fun little one edition. Um, this card won me match. I think two of the matches, we just dominate with this card. It's uh, it's pretty impressive, especially combo with some other stuff. Kiora, Best the Sea God, when it enters the battle, if you create an 8-8 blue Kraken creature token with Hexproof, that's nuts. Then we can tap everything down on our opponent's side and gain control of a target permanent on the third saga. It's just a powerhouse of like 15 mana shelled into one. It's really cool. Uh, the land base is pretty nutty. We have Castle Ardenvale times three. So we, if we really need to in a pinch, we can create our 1-1 white human creature token uh, to go with our Luka, sacrifice, grab up our agent or our Thassa, and take opponent to Pound Town. Four planes, uh, two Castle Vantress. Three islands, one mountain only, three hallowed fountains, three steam vents, three temple of epiphany, uh, four sacred foundries, four of the triomes uh, of this sort, the blue, the red, the white, three fabled passage. That's the entirety of it. There is a sideboard. Um, this sideboard's more, I noticed a, a top eight list. Uh, that was running a Yorion build, and this is what they recommended. You know, this is what they were using at the time to go in that build. And I think, yeah, sure, why not? It's not a, it's not a bad cyborg. It's pretty good, especially with the counter spells in here heavily. So if you need, um, if you're up against, a, you know, a deck that's maybe a little more quicker, and you're not able to slow them down initially, because our deck doesn't isn't made for being very slow. It's made for being, or actually, our deck is made for being slow. It's not made for being very very quick. So if we need to be more controlly with our opponent because they're too aggressive, we can always sideboard in some of this stuff and best of three matches. All right, we are going to go to best of one. I like to play against um, a plethora of decks rather than play the same deck twice or three times. I do agree with many people. I think the best way to play Magic, the best competitive way to play Magic, the only way to play Magic is in best of three. But for video purposes, I like to play best of one. All right, in a nutshell, guys, um, let me know what you think by the end of the video. And if you enjoyed it, by all means, leave a like. Let's get into some gameplay. I know you'll enjoy this. Skidink, skidink, skadoosh. We'll see how it goes. Shark Typhoon Boy. Start out with our Triomi. Opponent. Opponent's already timing out. Pretty nuts. There you go, my friend. Welcome, 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 welcome. Nothing much going on this turn. Just pass it around. <clears throat> Plays another land. Okay. You don't see as many aggro decks as you used to. I'll, I'll tell you that much. There's definitely not as many aggro floating around, running around, doing shenanigans. What do I want to do here? Do we want Omen? Yeah. We will pay for it. Well, we could have went Castle Ardenvale. 
I do understand. We'll live. We'll get through this one together. Look, we got our life back. Hey. Yeah, Castle Ardenvale would have came in uh, for free there, but without paying life. Oops, sorry. I hit the pause uh, uh, when I was not supposed to. Yeah. Nothing's really happened, though, just so you guys are aware. Nothing's really happened. We're on, like, turn four, and I think it's a theory played out. I hit it with my, my token. Yada, yada, he bounced one of my tokens. Nothing really crazy went on. Of course we would draw you, you little rascal. Okay. Another temple. Um, Not really in need of that. We're going to go with a theory all day. And uh, we'll see that out of here. Oh, got a steam events. Oh, yes. So we are good to go. Uh, Luca starts stealing. Huh? Oh, he is running Winata. Wow. Maybe. I didn't see that one coming. Not from a mile away. <clears throat> Pegs my little Tafiri there. This guy's a rascal. Now, I'll probably just take this as Triome. Another land, you don't say. Oh, man, do I go Shark Typhoon first? I mean, Winata could punish us if we don't. Um, if we, whoa, oh, man, I, what do we do? Uh, I think that's just devastating, though, if we go with this. That could be three creatures attacking with a Winata. I can't risk it, man. We can't. We cannot risk it, my friends. We just cannot risk it. So we're gonna minus two. Get rid of that. No sense in attacking a block of war boss. Hello, friend. Uh, what to take exactly? This is kind of weak sauce, but we're gonna take his war boss. Cool. Think. So now, if he does drop one out, he only has the one uh, creature that would be swinging at us. I could live with that. And then that could buy us some time. We even have an Elspeth. We have a lot of answers for whatever our opponent does. We have Yorion. We could bounce. Um, okay, we have a lot of options here. That was not nice. That was not nice. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just played this. Oh, he's going to not like us. Where's fires when you need it, man? You know? That's just plus one, see what happens. Nothing. Is that for a creature? Uh, creature goes this way again. Oh, okay. So whatever. Um, nothing there we needed anyway, but yeah. That was, uh, it would have been nice if we would have maybe top decked like another agent. That's about it. <laughs> so the plus one, you have to do that. So keep that in mind. That kind of stinks. Oh, he's banishing... Shark or Luca? Luca. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Now, I can exile that, you know, my friend. It's true. I can do that. Another land. I'm good. Kiora? Probably play it safe and just go Elspeth. One, two, three. We have seven. Yeah, I better just go Elspeth. It's like a nice, uh, it's some nice stuff going on there. And we could even, there's no point to even do this right now with him. I guess I could just exile more stuff. Maybe we'll hit a treachery. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'd like to get, what's his minus seven? Each creature you control deals damage. I can't read that. It's too fast. And you got rid of our Luca anyway. Goodbye, Luca. Equal to its power to target opponent, I guess. Nader Kraken. Okay, that's what's cracking, Captain. And I play Castle. Play Castle, you know. We got the Kiora, which is just devastating. There you go. We're playing like two decks running big boy spells. It looks fun. All right, we might as well just swing on in. That's a nasty board right there, if I've ever seen one.
We could have another board wipe. I mean, it's le it's lethal if he doesn't have an answer for all that. I, I forget how powerful this is. These like when they when that little combination hits with Kiora, it's just nasty. It's just like it's scoop time. But I, I neglect to think that way. Cause I'm like so used to going back and forth with my opponent that once we finally get like our massive like attack in or you know like our strategy unfolds, I'm like, oh, it's already over. Like I was having so much fun, you know. All right, that's that's a little rascally move there, but we can just gain control of it. But not yet. We tap everything down, and that's just gonna be game. Um, turn a creature planeswalker card. Yeah, hi. We tap everything. We're bringing back Agent of Treachery. Um, we can take over as Elspeth conquers death. I mean, it's just nasty, man. It's just nasty. You get a plus one. Hooray. We'll just take Elspeth from him. Then we can bring back something else. Uh, I guess we just swing in and end this one. There you go. Good game. Well, looks fun. Don't really got much going on. Opening hand, but we can get somewhere. Come in tapped. No red mana either. I do enjoy Kiora. Kiora's fun. That's true. The Forge. The great and powerful Forge. Nars, that's legit. I mean, even Shadow of the Sky is cool too. I don't think we're going to need it just yet. We're going to get rid of that. We're ramping. Drops another land. Gets another shatter. What do you know? Oof, oof, oof. We really don't have anything good going for us here. I guess birth will get us another land. Plays red. Fires. Because everybody is running fires. <clears throat> you just don't not run fires. It's just not possible. You're fun. Just cannot cast you whatsoever. That really is shapoopy. Oh, man. We are in a pickle, huh? I think I will do this now in case we get a land. Or oh, never mind. Forget everything I said. All right, we do got one red. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're so much closer now to casting Luca. A Gigan drops a Gigan. Gonna bounce him again. Another fires. He gets nothing out of us. He has a dream eater. I mean, I guess he could bounce that. Which would not be the worst thing in the world. His little fun here is gonna be short lived. I mean, like, we'll see you later. Hopefully he doesn't have another Gigan or Gigan. Fave wishes. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, any land will do right now. I'd be cool with any land. Grabs Nyssa. Or not Nyssa, Chandra. Ah, oh, why did you have to come down like that, my friend? Why, 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 why? 
One, two, three, four, five. Just not enough for what we want to do. He's about to get an ultimate already. Oh, I guess he can do it any time. Ah, oh, man. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do, do, do. I guess just Narset. Doesn't even put it in our hand. Or on the field. Because we don't have another land. Man, that's terrible. We are in a rough spot. Opponent. Okay, he wanted Narset dead. That was a really smart play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey. That's obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we could get out Kiora this turn. Could also get out Shark Typhoon. I think Shark Typhoon's a better play for right now. <clears throat> okay, we passed the turn. Taking damage here for sure. Kiora's gonna make for some uh, some havoc though. Luca would be cool if we can get a 1-1 one, one out. I know we have Castle Ardenvale, but man, Fires, Fires has never sounded so good in my entire life. Paradise Druid. With two emblems on us. Can we come back from this? That'd be pretty cool with a dirty D. Bounces as Fae of Wishes, doing so much there. Yep, yeah, we take some damage. Unavoidable damage. A blue. Haru. All right, time to get gangster. Kiora. That's a seven-seven flyer. It's pretty dead. It's pretty deadly, man. And an eight-eight to compliment. What a nasty duo, Kiora and Shark Typhoon are. He can just keep plus wanting to beat us. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? But we definitely deliver like some very powerful punches. I'd hate to uh Oh gosh, guys. Oh gosh, guys. That tickled. Shikes. Wow. Talk about just not being able to gank what we want whatsoever. That stinks, man. I mean, we can omen on that, but who cares? It's, it, we wouldn't be able to do anything else. Yikes, man. I don't know a way out of this. I mean, this could have us steal something, but it's not going to be enough to do much. We'll see. Maybe we can get there. Never give up hope, my friend. Never give up hope. I don't care if you tap that. Quit tapping my stuff down, boy. 
There's no point for us to gank his Tasa, although, kind of. I mean, uh, we'll see. Let's see how it pans out here, fellas. Do I take Thassa? I mean, she's tapping us down. It's kind of important. Hmm. I could just... No, we're going to bounce that all over the place. I don't think we want to return anything. Submit zero. Sacred Foundry, you don't say. Okay, and then Agent will bounce. I can't believe it came back from that one. That was that was pretty intense. There's so much going on with this. Pretty cool. What a comeback. Hooroo! Keepers. Comes in tapped. Not the best hand in the world. We already got our Thassa, which is cool. Hello, my friend. He's running Obosh. Knight. Hmm. Not really drawing what we want. I guess Omen's cool. Could have flashed it. I just really don't care. Make him think we have a counter. What would he do? Um. Narset. We don't have any red mana for you. Another land is good. I guess as long as we keep climbing up. We're going to need another land. We only have a total of like three. Four now. How about some red, Fred? Another Knight of the Abbot Legion. And a Cauldron Familiar. A very annoying little kitty. Alright. Another land. We are the, the men with the, the land plan. Omen. Some chump blocks. Get to Swamp. Halraldic. Gives everything a boost. That tickles. I think we go with Narset. We gotta find a, a board wipe or we're gonna lose this. That's cute though. Um, we have to pay for it too. Oh man, that's expensive. That is expensive. Activate. Ah, rubbish. We can't even cast you. We didn't hit any of our friggin' stuff, man. That is terrible. Now to eight. I need a board wipe and a board wipe only here. Oh, come on, Narset. Skadoosh. Crap out of here, boy. All right, we are very terrified, though. I'm not going to lie. Knight. Margaret Rider. Hmm. Man, that could be lethal on us if we don't play something good. Well, we almost got lethal now. We're in trouble. Go you at you. Get red. There we go. I could take that. We're not going to be bringing back anything from our grave. Shark, we would just die. I mean, we can play it just to survive. A three drop. We can do this and get some tokens and scry. Maybe we do go at Yorion. 
It's not exactly what I wanted to do there, but... It does help. All this comes back. Hmm. And we get another card draw. Tafiri. Didn't do too much for us, my friends. I mean, we can slowly take the game back here. Block like that. You might have removal and just take out Nomad. Maybe not. Must have some kind of play here. Another, wow, that's interesting. Very nice, very nice. Can I top deck? I'll, no, I can't, I can't do that. But we can definitely, oh, he would pump it though. What a rascal. We could actually kill it. One, do I have another land? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, oh yeah, baby. He automatically does that. That's cool with me, bro. All right, we don't end up killing it. No, we can't kill it. We can't kill it, but at least it's on the battlefield, guys. We'll just ping him for some damage. Um, we can use Tefiri to buy more time. I was gonna go with Dasa, but at least we got a whole bunch of shenanigans running about now. And then Knight is reduced to Shrivelly. Uh, we will also activate this. Omen of the Sun. Omen of the Sun, we can decline you. Oh, we'll put you in our hand, I guess. We have nothing else to do. Um, I will swing with just one. We'll leave that dude behind. It's not a dude. Is it a dude? No, it's a chick. Human soldier. It is a female. Ayara. Ah! Oh, that hurt a lot. Um, I mean, we can shatter the sky again. Oh, no. I guess Elspeth on that. <laughs> ah! Can shatter and kill everything. Oh, man. This would take that out. I guess I just do that. Take Gary out. Plus one. Minus two. We get like something cool. Wow, really? One, two, three, four, five, so come on, man. Where's my Fires of Invention? Like, ever. Like, ever. Wherever is my Fires of Invention, man? We just never hit it, ever. There's no point to attack here. I really don't care. Oh, no, this one is gone. We really need life gain or we lose. Sorry. Oops. I'm not even going to say it, though. He said oops. There you go. I've done that too many times. Okay. Drops that. Drops that. Good game. GG, my friend. He doesn't have the token to sacrifice, though. Oh, I can't believe we could not cast Luca this entire time. And Thassa's is cool and all, but I think we just got a board wipe, man. Oh, it grinds my gears. This is terrible. 
Thassa, I get Thassa could do a whole lot of stuff for us, but we just got to wipe, man. That stinks. Good news is we're going to bring it right back next turn. Okay, we just wipe. Barth. Need some life, man. There's, um, there's stuff he can draw that would kill. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, man. This is crazy. Crazy, man. <laughs> this will keep us uh, afloat. Plus one, plus one. Oh, we could bounce everything. Submit. Uh, I kind of want to get that life out of you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, submit. 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 Okay, play our... Oh, we have Luca now, too. Oh, Luca, Luca, Uka, Trupa, Luca, Upa. Um, where do I get Thassa going now and just really start the shenanigans? He can kill us with one little move, though. Gosh, guys. I'd hate to do this and then... You know? All right, whatever. We're going to play Thassa. I really want Thassa out. And then... Oh, hot dogs. I guess just you and you and you and you and you. Um, yep, bouncing you. Uh, bank. More tokens, more stuff. Narset goes by. Did we just come back from that? Whoa. Whoa, man, we got the fires, bro. Ooh, welcome back. Uh, exile, 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 exile. Exile, exile, exile. There we go. Enough exiled? Everything's exiled. All right, cool. I don't have to exile you, though. But we'll exile you anyway. We'll get, we're going to get rid of him as well. At five. Can opponent close the sale? Oh, man. No! <laughs> okay, everything comes back one more time. We got fires. So we can do Shark Typhoon and Luka. Pretty nasty. Oh gosh, guys. He is tapped. Brings it. Ouch. Uh, done. Good game. Oh, wow. I can't believe we came back from that one. Oh, we just need to pass out. Could have done it a turn early. I understand. Wow. That was fun, though. Fun match. Yep. Two land hand, not the best. Please, baby, baby, please give me another land, baby, baby, please. That's uh, that's a land. That is a land. It looks like a land to me. Ooh, a land. Got some organization going on here. I mean, we're looking pretty hot right now. We are looking pretty fire. We're looking pretty fireball right now. FIFA sanity. Gotta get that crab out of here. Um. All right, we gotta buy time. We're just gonna kick out FIFA sanity. We'll see ya. It was nice knowing ya. Come back another day. Shadow of the Sky is pretty legit. Um, we did need... We were hoping for another land draw there. So now we gotta go birth. Nice little predator. Are you rascal? Got our land. Doesn't help. Alright. Uh, 
Do I go Omen? Better go Birth. Yeah, we just gotta get to what we need really quick. Another land. You know what I'd love to see, though? You know what I would just love to see? Stuff. I would love to see stuff. No, you know what I'd like to see? Is, um, Trickery of Foot. Uh, which would involve... Oh, come on. Um, I'm just gonna board wipe you. I can't stand your crap, man. Like, honestly... You just, you just hit my dude, man. You, bro, you just busted my dude in the face. This would probably train wreck him if we do that. We have to. We don't really have a choice here. Kind of stinks we lost out on that, though. All right, we'll play the planes. Yeah, we just got to gotta shatter. There's no other choice. Because if we don't shatter, he has two of these guys with hexproof. We can't steal them. You can't steal hexproof. Thief of sanity, little rascal. Narset flops up. Now, we could just exile that right now as well. And then have some fun. But... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What to do? I guess we Elspeth on that. We're going to be a turn behind. We can't, we're not going to be able to get it to trigger off how we want. Maybe we will. Let's see what happens. Get out of here. Okay. If we only had... Oh, you might be on a counter now. I don't know. Let's let's kind of test the water, I guess, and see if he's on a counter spell. He does have a counter. That's never good. Because that would wreck our Luca. Our Luca Troopa. What a jerk. It's fine, pal. Plenty more where that came from. Hope we get another. Ooh, no counter. Not at two men, at least. All right. Looking good. Oh, oh. We'll take our Tafiri. Too bad we couldn't bounce him. Opponent's processing this uh, this this bitterness in his taste buds right now. Let's see how it plays out. He. This bill goes rough. He's drawing a bunch of cards. Okay. You want to play like that? You can play like that, man. That's fine. We're gonna loyalty up, my dude. Welcome back. All right. Now we're going to swing. Um, yes. Swing them both. Go Luca. We can also do something here with you. Go Luca. Minus the two. Get rid of you. It's one or two. Thassa or it's going to be Agent. Wonderful. I don't know what to take from him. He doesn't really have anything. What do you take from from a man who doesn't have anything? A watery grave. Okay. And I could bounce my agent back to my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'd be silly, though. Um, we could bounce back Omen for more. Hey! I hate when they do that. Ooh. Can you smell what the fires is cooking? I know I can. This is a very uh, solid hand. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> All right. Uh, try only for sure. Whoops, almost misplayed that. Here's a question. How many lands do you guys run in your decks? Um, if you're running Yorion as your companion, because you have to have 80 cards. What do you think is a good amount? 32? 34? 36? What do you think is a good amount? That's a good question. I wonder how many people are uh, running too many or too little. Okay, we can't do anything yet again, so we go Temple. Omen of the Sun, yet again. I don't think we need enough. I mean, that's good for chump blocks, actually. That might help us a little bit. We already got one, though, so I'm not going to grab the other one. We need to get this guy the F out of here. Get the F out of Dodge. Get the F out of D. Whoa, my friend. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to shatter the sky you in a minute. All right. Um, I guess we just get to Fury over here for bounce action. Get this rascally rabbit out of here by ourselves a turn. 
Get out of here. Get about it. Hello, Luca. Okay, Luca's sweet. So we can get Fires and Omen next turn. And then Narset and Luca and our, our friend's probably gonna scoop a Loopa Loopa. <laughs> Healer. Now he does have to go for Teferi. That buys us a tiny bit of time. He could be crazy aggressive and go right for face. You never know. These kind of situations are crazy. Oh, there we go. He does hit Teferi. Wonderful. Okay, another omen. Cool, cool. Alright, so we flop down fires. Resolved. And, uh, yeah, we gotta go with omen here. We have our chump block, which is pretty cool. I'll just play it now. We could flash it in as well. This is true, guys. Now we chump block the one. As long as he's got, like, an exile or something, we, we should be pretty golden. We really don't even need to chump lock a Johnny. Die, ah, rascal. Is he taking out fires? Take out fire. I don't care. I don't care about fires. It served its purpose. I mean, it would have been really cool. We could have done Luca and Yori on the same turn. That would have been pretty nasty. All right. Um... I'm not going to block because we're just going to take his, his stuff. We're going to take his cookie. Yeah, make him bigger for us, would you? Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Norset, welcome, my pet. All right, so we'll run with you. Now we go with Luca. Fires would have been sweet. I understand. Minus two. Sack you. Gains protection. For a creature in Sham, you control. Gains protection. I don't like that, man. He's going to be able to get protection from us. Um, We have Thassa out. That we do have Thassa. We were hoping for something Elsa. Okay. No block. No point in bouncing anything there. We were hoping for Agent there. But now, I mean, get Agent. Get Thassa. Be all right, uh. Opponent. Prison realm. What a freaking rascal. This guy, man. That really grinds my gears. We had it all figured out. We had it all. We we had we had it all figured out. I'm not blocking that. Unbelievable. We had it all figured out. Now we just don't. Not good. One, two, three. Not good. Yorion wouldn't do enough to do anything. Get some blockers in, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do that. Yay. Uh, no attack. Come on back. Bounce you out of here, Jack. Bring it back. Can we just bounce you again? Cool. All right, that will be coming back. We do have some chump blocks. Gained a little bit of life in the process. Get it all! Wow, this guy just drew the nuts on us, huh? Every, everything just got an answer, don't it? What a little rascal. Oh, he could just give protection and win. Ugh. That's... That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Can we double block? He's got it. Does he know does he know that he has it? Is the question. He has to know he has it. Right? <laughs> I 
my friend. He had the game and didn't know it. My friend. That is insane, my friend. Wow. Be a shame if someone were to shatter the sky. Ah, uh, we didn't get it. Shep oops. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shark Typhoon is just not enough right now. I'd love to be able to bounce this out of here. This will just keep dropping this. Uh, Omen of the Sea, I guess, is a decent bet. Oh. Can we get, a, like, a god pool right here? Well, I mean, I guess Stas is a god. All right. That was rough. That was really rough. That was really, really rough. That's not going to do it. I guess we do another omen here. Got Narse. Another Narse. I would love to have Shark Typhoon out earlier, but we just simply do not. Another omen. Um, I think I'll pay the life there. Thassa. This is not enough. It's just not enough. We gotta get rid of this crap. I honestly think I have to do... No, he can't choose protection from both colors. So I guess we do go with Thassa. Or with Narset. Fires! Thanks for showing up in a year late, man. Like, wow. Unbelievable. We were we were looking for you, my friend. Remember, we also could use Thassa to tap down something. We could have tapped this down as well. But we chose to be gangsters. Um I guess we could swing in. We're just gonna bounce it back. Doesn't do much. Welcome back. Bounce you and you. Oh, wait. If we let these leave the battlefield, we lose our dwelling. We can do that. And it'll still stay. Because we have uh, Narset out. He could double sack for protection. He can give protection from blue and from white. Will he do it? <laughs> oh, man. What a rascal. Buddy, all you got to do is one more time, man. White. And you, you win this. You, I'm rooting for you, pal. Oh, there it is. He did it. Oh, my God. He did it. He did it. All right. He got us. That was a funny game. Good game, pal. He got it. <laughs> a turn it eight and a dollar short. All right. Yeah, he got it. All right. You want to swing? You want to you parade around in victory? You want to dance around like Peter Pan? All right. There you go. Good game. But he didn't even say good game to me. What a little jerk. Some people have all the nerve. So that was my version of Yorian Sky Nomad. What do you guys think? What would you change? What did you enjoy about it? Um, have you been running this? How many lands are you running? Um, I'd love to hear about it. 
And uh, this was my first go around playing with Yorion, you know, and there was quite a bit going on for me. You know Joey Moss and that small brain of his. So, I mean, I was trying to do a lot, um, just giving it the first, what, eight games I played with it. And I think overall I did okay. Uh, I'm sure if I played with the deck again now, I'd be much better, much more efficient, um, and know exactly how we're going to go about destroying our opponent. But for a new player, this is very overwhelming. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a pro by any means. I am not. But an advanced player, yes. I have played for many, many years, and I understand all the synergy and what cards do what and how things intertwine. But even for myself, this was a little challenging. So for a new player, I'm assuming it's going to be very challenging. Um, but just stick with it um, if you enjoy this kind of build, uh, by all means, because this is a whole lot of shenanigans, man, going on here. But yeah, um, appreciate it. if you leave a thumbs up. It does help out a lot. If you're not subscribed, by all means, go ahead and do that. And um, see yourself out the door and skadoosh yourself. Uh...